I bet that you love playing games on your computer. Well today, I'm going to show you how to create your own rock, paper, scissors game using Python. Let's go! Hey everyone, so today I'm actually going to be using a different tool called Visual Studio to write our um, code. But don't worry, you'll be able to do this rock, paper, scissors project in idle as well. So let's get started. First, we will need to import random. And let's go ahead and type user underscore wins equals zero and computer underscore wins equals zero. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a list and I'm just going to go ahead and call it options. And in this list, we're going to have all of the options or choices the player and the computer can choose from, which is rock, paper, and scissors. Okay, so once that is done, we need to put in a while loop. So we're going to be putting, typing in a while loop. So go ahead and write while true colon. And here we're going to put in our user input. So user underscore input equals input. And then in parentheses, um, I'm just, this is what um, the computer or the player is going to see first when they join this game. So it is going to say type rock um, paper scissors. Let me go ahead and capitalize all these paper scissors or Q to quit. Okay, and then we're gonna add a colon here and uh, make sure to put a space after the colon so the, the user has some space to write their answer. It's not gonna be squished in right after the question here. So basically, this is what the user or the player is going to see first and they will get the chance to write either rock, paper, or scissors after the colon or they can um, type in Q to just quit the game if they just wanna um, not play rock, paper, scissors anymore. So we're actually going to put in dot lower over here. This is basically just gonna convert whatever the user types into lowercase. Um, so by doing this, it won't come up with an error message if they don't, um, because all this is gonna be case sensitive. All right, so let's um, continue. So now what we're gonna do is type in an if statement here. So if user underscore input is equal to Q, so if the user types in Q, then we are going to uh, break the program. So if you break it, it is just going to stop and the whole game will be over. Okay. So now what we're going to do is add in another if statement. So this is going to say if user input is not in options, right? So if the user gives in a, um, you know, answer right here that is not valid, then what it is, it's going to just, um, it is going to continue. Meaning if it's not valid, it will go back to the beginning of this while loop and just print out this statement again. So the user will have another chance to write in their answer. Okay, so next what we're going to do is um, write in random underscore number equals random dot rand int. And in parentheses, go ahead and write zero comma two. So basically this is telling the computer to pick a random number between zero and two. So right after this, I'm gonna add a comment here. So to do that, put in the hashtag symbol or the number symbol. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in rock zero, paper is one, and scissors is two. Oops, two. So some of you may know what this means right here. This is basically the index number for each of the strings we have in our options list. So I actually had gone over this index topic in my Coding for Kids in Python video series. So um, basically the um, when in a list, each of your strings will stand for an index and the index 
index starts from the number zero. So rock would be zero, paper would be one, scissors would be two. So I just put in that comment here so we remember since this is an important piece of um, code and I re recommend for you guys to do the same. Okay, so next what we're going to um, type in here is computer underscore pick equals options and in square brackets write in random underscore number. So this is telling the computer to pick a random number from our options list that we have up here. So that one of those random numbers, it will pick from zero to two, and each of the, one of those numbers will stand for one of these options. Great, so let's move on. Now what we're going to do is um, write in a print function. This is going to be um, a statement telling the user what the computer picked. So computer picked and then computer pick underscore pick addition symbol and we're also going to put in a period in the colon. So um, this is going to tell the user what number or sorry, what option the computer picked and it is going to come up right here and everything in the double quotes is part of the sentence. Okay, so next what we're going to do is type in another um, if statement and now what we're going to do is write in, uh, you know, like telling the computer if the user picks this and the computer picks this, then the user wins or loses. So now we need to write code for that. So if user underscore input, I think I spelled that correctly. Okay, if user underscore input is equal to rock and computer pick is equal to scissors, um, it, the player would win because the rock would break the scissors. So we're gonna put in a print function and it is going to print out U1. And that also means that we need to add one to the user's score. So to do that, write user um, underscore wins plus equals one, which will add one to whatever the player's score is. So go ahead and copy this whole if statement. And we're gonna paste it two more times here. So now we're gonna keep everything the same, except we're just gonna change these values here. So instead of rock, we're gonna go ahead and put paper and instead of scissors, we are going to go ahead and put in rock. And we're now for the third one, we need to put in scissors. And that means over here, we're gonna put paper. So in that case, you would win if you, uh, if this three scenarios happen, you would win. But how about we go ahead and change this to elif. And we also, need to put in an else statement. So else, and then, so if none of these scenarios happen, that means that you would lose, right? So else, print, you lost. And that means we need to add one to the computer score, right? So computer underscore wins plus equals one. Great job. So, that's all the code we need that is going to be in the while loop. So as you can see, it is all indented. So make sure your lines are also all indented. So that means that um, telling the computer that it's on the while loop. Now we're gonna exit out of this while loop. And here we're gonna write the code for if the user um, types in Q, it is going to break the program as we've set up there. So now we're gonna type um, a few print statements. So print u1 and then user underscore wins times. I'm gonna continue on in that sentence. Another print statement tying the computer, the computer one and then computer underscore wins and then continue on in the sentence, so times. Great, and our last line of code will be another print function tying the user or the player goodbye. <laughs> 
Okay, so this was definitely a lot of code. How about I run over it quickly um, just so we can refresh on what we have written here. So first we've imported the random module and we've put in user underscore win zero and computer underscore, underscore win zero. So here we have also put in an option, a list and we've called it options, which has all of the three choices the player and the computer can choose from, which is rock, paper, and scissors. Next, we have typed in a, um, a while loop with a lot of code inside. And as you can see, um, we have given the computer some input on what it should tell the player once they join the game, which is type rock, paper, scissors, or Q to quit. And the player will be able to type their answer right after the colon here. And we've also converted it to dot lower. And we have an if statement over here, basically telling the computer if the user um, types in Q, then it is going to break the program. Or if the user just types something that is just not in the options list, right? As you can see, not in options, then it's just gonna continue, go back to the beginning of the while loop and print out this statement. And if they do put in a valid answer, it's gonna move on to this line of code, which is telling the computer to pick a random number from zero and two. And we've added a comment here telling which um, option or which item in this options list stands for which index number. So rock is zero, paper is one, and scissors is two. Next, we're telling the computer to pick a random number from the options list. And we also put in a print function here, telling the player what the computer picked. So which option, either rock, paper, or scissors. And we also have some if statements here, tying what the, if the computer picks this and the user picks this, then you would win or lose. And of course we have our else statement. And finally, once the player um, quits the game, types in Q, then it is going to print out all of these three print functions saying you won a certain number of times, the computer won whichever times, and goodbye. <laughs> okay, so let's save this and I'm gonna go ahead and run it. To do that in Visual Studio, I have to press this run button, run Python file and terminal. So as you can see, it has come up with type rock, paper, scissors, or Q to quit. So let's just go ahead and try out Q. As you can see, it prints out you won zero times, the computer won zero times, goodbye. So now let's actually try and win this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in rock. Oh, the computer also picked rock, so I lost. Well, basically it was a tie. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pick, how about scissors? I lost again, because the computer picked scissors. Uh, it was a tie. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pick rock again. Oh my god, it's another tie. I need to break this tie. Oh yeah, there we go, I won, because paper covers rock. As you can see, the computer picked rock. Wow, this is really fun, actually. Okay, um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and do scissors. Oh no, okay, computer picked rock, so it broke my scissors, so I lost. So now if I um, press in Q, then it is going to say I won one time, the Q computer won four times, goodbye. Wow, this is super fun, guys. So now that you've programmed this, which awesome job, by the way, you can impress your family um, with all with your game that you have coded here, and they can play with the computer as well. If you're bored, just go ahead and run this program and you're able to play rock, paper, scissors with the computer. How cool is that? And you are playing rock, paper, scissors in Python. Awesome. So please do um, stay tuned, you know, keep an eye out on NP Station and I will be putting in more mini project videos that we can do together. I hope you enjoyed this Rock, Paper, Scissors project. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to NP Station. But that's all for today. Keep reading, keep coding and stay safe.